Hey guys, welcome to my Etsy channel. This is Nancy from nancybadijo.com and welcome to another Etsy tutorial. On today's video, I'm going to show you how to rearrange items in your Etsy shop. If this is your first time visiting my Etsy channel and you are an Etsy seller or maybe thinking of becoming an Etsy seller, uh, make sure that you hit that subscribe button. I upload weekly videos and my primary objective is to help Etsy sellers build a thriving business. So let's go ahead and get started on this video. So um, rearranging items in your shop is a really nice way to showcase your items. And as long as your store is open to the public and you have more than one listings, then you could go ahead and rearrange it. And it's a pretty fairly easy um, tutorial that I'm doing today. It's going to be very short. And this is a tutorial that was requested by one of my um, subscribers in my Facebook group. So I went ahead and, you know, completed the tutorial for them. So let's go ahead and get started. So all you have to do is whenever you want to rearrange any items in your, in your store, you will click on Shop Manager. And then you're going to click the pencil icon next to your shop. You're going to edit, right? And from here, you're going to go under your shop. And right here it says rearrange items. You're going to click there. And there's different things that you could do to rearrange your items. You could drag and drop. So if I wanted to put this one here... And maybe I wanted to put the real estate quotes up here and put this one over here. I could do that. So just by simply rearranging it and then exiting rearrange mode. Now, another thing you could do is change the placement of that particular listing by manually entering the position where you want it to be. So this one is on, on 7. So let's say I wanted to move this one to 11. I would just press 11, enter. And it's going to push it to 11 down here. So you could do that. And another thing you could do is you could click right here, right click. And you could take this listing and I could move it to the last page. So now the dog walker logo is moved to the last page. Or I could also, um, for instance, well, let's go back to the last page real quick. I could take that same listing. And I could move it back to the first page if I wanted to. And now it's going to take me back to the first page. And there it is. I'm going to go ahead and drag it if I want to. And then if, if you're done with, let's say you already did all the changes you wanted to do on your first page. What you could also do now is that you could move on to the second page. So you could click on second. And then now this is going to open up all the other listings that you have on second. And then you could do the same, or you could just go on the bottom and click on third, fourth, and fifth. But another thing that I, I normally do, I have this on my wedding shop, is that I keep all the ones that are very similar right next to each other. So I might have a wedding sign, um, table numbers, and maybe a wedding invite that are all matching for the same particular listing. And I have them side to side. And that actually helps me increase sales. Because a lot of times when people see matching items, they're like, oh, okay, let me just go ahead and get all the matching items from the shop because I actually need all the products. So let me just go ahead and get it. So it's just a really, really good way to showcase not only your items or your best items that you sell, but also to showcase if you have matching items. So I highly, highly recommend for you to play around with it and for you to add um, your top sellers in the first page and to also add matching items in your first page as well. And keep in mind that when you do these changes, um, you'll have sometimes like you'll move it. And as you saw a few minutes ago, like a little glitch that happens. And another thing is it could take up to 10 minutes for your listings to rearrange. So if you exit 
the rear, if you exit it and then you go back to your first page and you're like, well, the changes never were made, it takes, it could take up to 10 minutes for it to save and for you to see it. And then what you can also do is just refresh the page. So therefore, um, refresh it like after a few minutes to see if the changes were made. But this is just a simple way to rearrange your items in your shop, make it look nicer, make it look prettier, um, and then also feature, like I said, your top sellers and any matching items that you have side by side. So I hope that this tutorial um, was helpful. If you currently do rearrange your items or have any tips about the rearrangement of items, leave a comment below. I'm trying to create a sense of community where we all come together and we help each other out with any tips and tricks. So make sure that you leave them below. So don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching.